Hi, I'm Lily Pressesuit. I'm here with Tech Radar at Maker Faire 2014, and we are here with Miriam from Pebble. Can you tell us a bit more about what Pebble is doing? Hi, Lily. Yes. Uh, so Pebble teamed up with Spark this year uh, at uh, Maker Faire, and we have a booth, and we're sharing uh, it to show some really cool hacks of what can be done by integrating an Arduino uh, Wi-Fi connected Arduino, which is Spark, with Pebble, the smartwatch. Um, and so basically we kind of unleashed our engineers and their engineers and they collaborated to create a bunch of hacks uh, and you know hacks, mods, whatever you want to call it. basically taking things out there and making them um, remote controlled or activated through Pebble is basically the idea. So uh, the Spark platform is basically an Arduino that connects to the internet via Wi-Fi to a service called a Spark Cloud and then Pebble of course talks to your smartphone over Bluetooth and also connects to the internet. And so now you can have like a whole chain of connectivity that makes things happen. And uh, the, uh, the Spark Core can control lights, relays, uh, other devices. So some of the demos we have are really cool. For example, there's a doorbell over there. If you ring it, uh, it sends a message to a pebble. So you're like in your house and you say, ah, oh, there's somebody at the door. And then it gives you five choices of canned response and it sends it back and displays it on an LCD display right at the doorbell. So this is the kind of stuff we're talking about. It's like, you know, taking things that are not really there yet and putting them together into something much bigger than the sum of its parts. So there's other demos. There's one you can tweet. Uh, if you actually tweet at Spark Devices, which is a Spark Twitter account, uh, the hashtag Maker Faire, one word, it lights up this really cool cylinder of LEDs behind me just to show what can be done with a kind of a cloud-based API. Um, also, you can control the light show with the accelerometer on Pebble for this one, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a blimp in the background, I'm sure you can see it. It's actually remote controlled through Pebble, but we can't really unleash it because well, there's lots of uh, airflow in here and it will disappear. So we've got it tethered right now, but you can control it through your Pebble and drive it around basically. Um, there's a bunch of other, there's a couple of uh, uh, little toy catapults and uh, trebuchet you can control and like throw candy like right across the booth uh, in somebody's mouth if you aim properly, all through your pebble. So I mean, you know, these are kind of like very much in the spirit of Maker Faire. This is about tinkering, about taking some of the things that are around you and controlling them directly through your pebble. This is not obviously to be too serious, but Theoretically, you could use this to do something really interesting because the Spark Core is an Arduino controller that can be anywhere in the world and you can control from your laptop from anywhere else in the world. You don't, don't have to be physically present anymore to control this device. And on top of that, it supports Pebble, so you can control anything that you write and create yourself as a maker with Pebble directly now. Is it pretty simple for just your everyday maker to learn? Yes, so if you're familiar with Arduino, you can make this happen. I mean, that's kind of the learning curve. Uh, a lot of people out there know how to use uh, and code Arduino. The nice thing is you can all do it in the cloud. You don't have to connect anything directly to the board. You still have to breadboard your, product, your, your prototype and you know connect your relays and your lights and your buzzers and your displays. But uh, you don't have to uh, worry about, like if you forgot it and it's still plugged in in your house, you can do it remotely. Uh, and that's the one thing that's really cool. Thank you so much, Miriam. It's yeah. great learning about Pebble and Spark. Thanks for uh, coming <laughs> back. Of course. For more news and features, check out techradar.com.